Well, good morning, YouTube, and my subscribers. Uh, this is William from Williams, Philippines, and it is April 8th, 2024. And it's only about 45 minutes into the day, uh, trying to get this one done. Uh, I've got a couple things I'm going to try to do tonight. So, anyway, uh, we have a solar eclipse coming through here in Texas. Uh, in, in North America, and the eclipse is coming through uh, probably around 1.30 uh, for totalitarian and such, but I'm not in the zone, I'm outside of it a bit, but not much, so I may or may not stay awake and try to see some of it, haven't quite decided yet, I did get a pair of those glasses, but uh, we'll see, I don't know yet. But, uh, yeah, uh, it's kind of a good thing. And if I was up in the total eclipse or total blockage area, uh, I might be able to take and see the comet that's also up there. That would be real nice. But uh, at this point, I don't know if I would be able to see it from here. It's going over Austin, and I'm way up here in Amarillo, so there's a bit of a out of alignment. But who knows? Uh, I may try to see if I can see it, and if I can see it, well, yay, it is what it is. Oh, finished the third cup, ready to make a fourth one. Ah. Uh, coffee, life juice, good stuff, but anyway, uh, yeah, I just don't know if I want to try to stay awake until, you know, basically two o'clock at least to try to watch that, and I don't know, it'd probably be three o'clock or later before I actually was able to get to bed, so I don't know if I'd want to take that much time, uh, Last couple of days, you know, last week kind of put a wearing on me, and Saturday and Sunday uh, pretty much just turned into, oh my gosh, I'm going to go to sleep, I'm tired. Eh, life happens. But I like I say, I did get a lot of stuff done last week, and that was good. This week, I haven't figured out quite what all, but... Uh, I know I need to get out there and try to finish the trees with the chainsaw, but I also want to try to get that air compressor out there and uh, try to blow and prepare some of the painting surface to get painted. So, we'll see. Uh, those are two areas I want to work on, but I also want to toss some more stuff out the door and get rid of it. Uh, it's kind of like I was going through my white shirts. And a few of them are looking a little rough, so I've decided I'm just going to try to go through them and get rid of the, you know, the worst ones. Uh, I think I got like 20 or 25 white shirts. I figure I can probably lose 10 easy. So, yeah. <clears throat> Slowly and surely, but uh, yeah, it's it's. I am the world's worst at messing things up. I don't know when I did it, but I've got a grease stain or some sort of stain on my cuff already today, and I don't even know how I got it there. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> and this is actually one of the better shirts, you know. Why is it you get a good shirt and the first thing you do is mess it up and turn it into a not good shirt? Guys, we're horrible on our clothing. It is what it is. Anyway, um, yeah, there's things I want to try to get done and uh, not all of it involves the heavy stuff outside, but there's a bunch of stuff to do inside too. And slowly but surely, I'm actually noticing, you know, there's like room in my rooms. Space. Elbow room. 
Oy, scary thoughts. Uh, yeah, <laughs> just trying to get the three ring circus going so I can get rid of all that stuff that, that I don't need and get it out of here. Uh, I've been trying to pile some up that, hey, garage sale, you know, get that stuff took care of. Because, well, there's stuff that I need to get rid of that is worth selling. So, yay. Uh, but, yeah, I was looking at the uh, news. Uh, apparently, somebody got arrested in the Philippines. Uh, and the Bureau of Investigations got him. And it would be kicking him out. Some guy named Paul. You know, from what I understood of him, good riddance. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, Zoom or something like that. I forget uh, what the channel name is. Uh, I caught him. Watched for a while. Realized I didn't like the guy. And, well, if I'm going to put time into watching something, I at least want to like the person that's saying something. So, yeah. And just something about the guy I didn't like. And here I am uh, surfing through my scroll. And up pops something about him being arrested in the Philippines. So, psst. bye. Bye. Uh, we all have choices to make, you know, and, and take care of our lives. Don't get me wrong, I'm not going to pretend to be an angel. I did a lot of stupid on stupid street when I was young. I'm thankful I changed my ways 24 years ago. I woke up and realized the mess I was started working on me. So, yeah. It's a good thing to take and work on yourself. Like I say, I can't work on you without needing to operate a shovel because, well, I'm not a brain surgeon and finding the switches to make you think right is your department, not mine. So I work on me and I find it to be very good to just be content on working on me. Less headaches. But yeah, uh, I've enjoyed growing for myself, so yay. I ain't going to say I'm done, far from it, but I'm a lot better than I was 25 years ago. So yeah, 24 years ago when I started trying to wake up. But uh if you don't work on yourself, uh, you, you're going to remain a child. You know, it's, it's, I've seen too many people who refuse to work on themselves and, well, they end up being a disaster zone for their entire life. Uh, yeah. And that's why I try to work on me. And, well... Tonight, one of the things I'm wanting to try to work on, uh, taxes. I'm actually going to try to file tonight. I really don't like taxes. Theft. Yeah. Taxation is theft. It is what it is. Your choice, what you want to believe is you. But as far as I'm concerned, taxation is nothing but theft. Uh... Because I should be able to choose if I want to have my dollar support something. And if you take it from me before I even get it, it's just theft. Because you have taken away my choice. And don't tell me about, well, you got to vote. Yeah, right. Uh, George Carlin put something up about that. Yeah. Go listen to him and tell me about vote. Uh but yeah, that is what it is. <laughs> Oy. Mm. Shoulder's still a bit sore. I did get a bunch of stuff done this weekend.
or well my weekend <laughs> uh, yeah problem is you know when we're young we heal instantly or don't even notice it we get older we notice it and it takes twice as long to heal or three times as long it is what it is but anyway uh yeah taxes I'm gonna try to get that done hopefully have it all figured out and ready to go before I have to shut the computer down and uh, do the audit so I need to actually get this thing posted uh, yeah it is what it is uh, there was a bit of uh, interviews, I forget the uh, girl's name, but uh, one of them had uh, an interview with a girl over there in the Philippines, and the little Filipino girl was talking about, I'm a strong, independent woman. Yeah, it sounds to me like she's been infected with westernized mess. We can just hope it takes a lot longer to spread over there than it did over here. Uh, that stuff started, and I remember when it was starting, uh, or was having a pretty strong thing back in the 70s. Yeah. Let's hope it takes a nosedive over there and gets thrown out and these folks decide that uh, yeah they don't want to be that way ladies please being westernized is not a good thing strong independent well if you believe that uh, make your own clothes raise your own cotton to make your clothes weave it together and sew it up. Pretty sure some of you could do that. They won't be as pretty as the ones you've got on. Because, well, those are made by man-made machines. Man-made. But, hey, you don't need a man. You're independent and strong. Uh-huh. Go ahead. I have to say, you know, everything in life is a choice. Choose your words correctly might be why you hear me stop so often is because, well, take the time to think about what you're going to say so that you say it the way you want it to be meant and comprehended. Failing to choose your words wisely has a tendency to cause problems. Pretty much, I have learned that and have figured out that it is always better to slow down, take the time to think about what you're saying, and slay it, say it in a slow and precise manner. Don't get me wrong, I can get wound up and rattle off just as fast as anybody else. But I'd prefer to take my time and think about what I'm saying. That way I know what I said, I heard in my head first before I ever spoke it. So, yeah, choices. Uh, I'm not sure that the Filipino gals over there really understand what the independent means. Uh, they want to, you know, they want to say they're independent. You know, here in the West, they say they're independent. They don't need men. You know, like I said, go out and make your own clothes then. Tell me how independent you are. Uh, raise your own food. I've done that. I've actually had a meal from my backyard. I raised the chickens that I hatched from eggs that came from chickens that I bought at lady's house up the road I bought fertile eggs put them in an incubator and hatched them out raised them up got more eggs and oh raised those chicks up to be eaten 
Hmm. I've raised fish right there in my house and in my backyard. Aquaponics set up, raising the veggies to, you know, clean the water so the fish could mess it up and the plants could suck it up. Uh, aquaponics is a good thing, but it requires effort and input. But I have had, you know, meals come out of my backyard or from the local area here. I've actually had local made sunflower, you know, squeezed sunflower oil that I bought at the local farmer's market. And yeah, when you have a meal that has less than one mile on it, travel time, because you raised it. Yeah, and even then, I had to depend on somebody else to squeeze the sunflower oil. So, dependency, independent. I got a lot of knowledge on how to do things. Uh, I pulled a box, of, you know, I pulled a bunch of books off my bookshelf and got rid of a bunch of stuff. And there was books in there on animal husbandry, gardening, uh, blacksmithing yeah I'm not real good at it I have a vague understanding of how it works uh, I know how to operate a lathe yeah not real good at it but let me get some practice and I could probably build a motor uh, would probably need to be pouring a lot of metal and heating it back up and pouring it again and cutting it up and well, it takes practice to get good at being on a machine. But, basically, I've got the comprehension and the understanding of how to do. And, yeah, it'd be nice to have more practice in doing. But, yeah, it's... it's as much as I know, I have to be dependent on other people. So, yeah. Ladies, you want to be independent? <laughs> Go ahead, try, and when you hit the wall, maybe then you'll wake up and realize, yeah, you need men, just like men need you. I hate saying that nowadays, especially of you Western women. But yeah, men still need women, women still need men. World don't go around without the two of them working together. Might be why America's getting real messed up now. Just a thought on that. But anyway, it is what it is, and it is rolling over to about one o'clock. And let's see, uh, a little over 15 minutes on this. Uh, I got to get to something I don't want to get to because the thieves want me to file my paperwork so they know how much to steal. <sighs> Taxes. Yeah. Anyway, I'm William from Williams, Philippines. And I hope y'all get to go see the, if you're here in America, I hope you get to go see the clips. And maybe if you're in the totality of it maybe even get to see that uh, comet uh, that's out there I think it's supposed to be I'm not sure but down and to the left of the Sun or maybe that was just the picture was backwards I don't know but anyway there's supposed to be a comet that is visible during totality or totality so that uh, folks can you know, maybe see it. Uh, I think we'll have another shot to see it later in the year, but uh, this is on the dive in toward the sun, so yeah, I'd like to see it. I may try to t catch it tomorrow and see if I can see it, but I don't think it's really going to be visible by uh, areas that aren't in the totality. So, anyway. Uh, again, I'm William from Williams, Philippines, and well, 
Later blessings. Bye-bye. Y'all have a good one. I'm Fish, and Fish is out.